Hey guys, if you ever watched the Grantham video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Rev here, and today I got something a little different and maybe a little smaller. I reviewed several World War II airsoft guns before, but nothing is going to compare to what I'm about to show you today. Airsofters, let me ask you this. Are you looking for an airsoft gun to absolutely embarrass someone or yourself? Do you want to question your purchasing decisions? And finally, is carrying a full length ammo grand just too hard for you? Well, today, I found this one for only $9. Let me introduce you guys to the ASP 715 Bravo Mini ammo grand single shot spring powered airsoft rifle. I'll be giving this gun away to one lucky subscriber. To enter, subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. Let me know what airsoft gun you want me to review next. Taking a look at the box, and it's truly mini. The front displays the M1 Garand with an interesting ratio. It looks more woody in this picture, but don't get your hopes up. Looking up on the sides, you have the instructions on how to load the BBs in and warning signs as well. Opening it up on one side, you get the Garand and that's it. <laughs> no magazines, except this mini Garand and a tiny little bayonet. Looking at the body, and it's very plasticky and hollow, with the exception of the internals inside. The internals are blue and can be seen through the rail for some reason. To use this thing, load BBs into the top part of the rear sight, rack the charging handle, and fire. I get about 170 FPS on 0.16 on this thing, and the BBs, eh, they do not travel that far at all, as there's only a fixed hop-up, but to be honest, I don't think there's a hop-up. Trying to run anything heavier, like a .20, will just be a huge mistake, as it only decreases the distance of the shots. The charging handle does not have a lot of resistance and can be pulled back with your thumb. However, the trigger is very stiff and sort of forces you to grip this thing with both your hands. No worries of getting a grand thumb either, as there is no ejection port for where the clips to pop out. Just a very unreliable internal magazine, but more on that later. As you can tell, this is a one-third scale of an M1 Grand, even down to the tiny little bayonet, which shares the same plastic material as the Grand itself. The only thing is, that it's actually completely silver. It flips over and adds a few centimeters to an already tiny gun. The bayonet is also not sharp at all, so don't try prying anything open or stabbing your little brother with, as the plastic will just shatter upon contact. The body has two tones, black to where it should be metal and brown where there should be some wood. At the other end is a blaze orange and underneath a silver bayonet. Now, I wish I could get you some gameplay with this thing, but unfortunately, this thing had a feeding issue when I used it. Right after chronoing this thing, I noticed that there was no bees coming out of it. No matter. I just used this unjamming rod. However, after I probed it from the front, I noticed that a piece of the internal cracked. Great, at least I decided to break on me before I even reached the field. So, I'm going to give it its final rating. Bottom line, what do I think about the Mini M1 Garand? Hmm, it's bad. As, I felt there's no reason why to spend $9 on this. Because it doesn't match the scale, it can't be used on any types of videos as a prop, as it will look absolutely laughable with anyone just above the age of 6, okay? Even if you did buy this as a meme to plink your friends in the back at the staging era, this doesn't shoot well at all. And I barely got 20 feet without the BBs just crashing straight to the ground. So, to wrap this thing up with a little flannel bow, don't buy this. Do not buy the Mini M1 Grand from ASP. Anyways guys, that's it for this week's video. I really want to give a special thank you to my Patreon supporters who are helping bankroll this and other videos. I'll have a link to my Patreon in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more reviews like this one, and comment and let me know what you want to see next. I'm Revention, and I'll see you guys next time.